Yeah, yeah cuz even here in our area, um, you know, the local municipality is talking about red cuts. What's yeah. red cuts, honey? Red cuts mean they cut into the bone. They cut into anything and everything. Listen to the white man. Yeah, so. <laughs> you don't know what that means. It means cutting into the meat. Yeah, so they. Stuff that you wouldn't even think of cutting. Good evening, everyone. Thank you again so much for tuning in. This is the Real Deal Fam Network. I am Andre, and this is my gorgeous wife, Essie. How are you doing? Boom. Here we go again. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> On the back of the show, he's the head of the house, and that's just the way it is. That's it. We thank y'all so much for tuning in. Welcome. If you hadn't had an opportunity yet, please go ahead now and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. We are on a thousand subscriber campaign, and we surely would appreciate if you help us get there. Mm -hmm. With that being said, let's dive right in. We got a easy topic. Yes, this yet. topic. Uh, um, I wore my uh, nice sweater cardigan set. Just so we can talk about this topic. Yes, this involves all of the seniors, and and this is the pension shortfall or the pension crisis that is looming in this country today. And the, uh, looming, it already happened. It's just uh, you know the, bubbling the, underneath the, the surface. Re, the residual, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, it already happened. It's just we haven't received the bottoming out yet. Yeah, that's just they said it's coming. Yes, for, for what most people don't understand, the younger folk probably are not familiar with pensions, but pensions uh, is something basically when you work for a particular company for a while, and it, over times when, when you get ready to retire, uh, there's supposed to be a, uh, for the existence of the remainder of your life, uh, you get paid a check. A certain amount that's typically guaranteed for the rest of your life. Right, and most of the time, well, people uh, from our generation and under, they phased out a lot of uh, pensions, and uh, you know, in return, you get a four hundred one k or yep. you know, savings, <laughs> so the money, a kickback, or they match your four hundred one k, that kind of stuff. But in the old days, they used to give you money after you retired every month. Yeah, so if you work for a company for 20, 25, 30 plus years, which was typical in the past. that's Some, the, like some companies you only had to work there like 10 years or so to yeah. get a part, a piece of the pension. Now that that's that's not like my wife said, they rolled over to different uh, formats like 401k. Pensions are very scarce these days. Uh, if you work for the government, then you know about pension yes. plans. And a lot of people were able to be well off or not rich, but you know. You secured the bag if you was yes. able to, as soon as you got out of uh, high school, at 18 or 19, you started work for a company. 20 years from there, you're still young. You're only 40. You get a pension. Uh, and then you just start working for a different company, and then you work there. Now you're only 60, retirement age, so you're getting a pension from the first company, a pension from the second company, and Social Security. So those people made bank. That's why when you was younger, your mama told you, call your grandfathers. They they could help pay for that. They could cover it. And you was like, as a kid, you like, man, they ain't even working. Where they get money from? Right. The old folks always got a new car. You know, y'all <laughs> always got nice stuff. You always, you know, you especially if you was in the military, you got the, your, your medical care as well, you know. So, yeah, it's right. pretty. And a pension is critical to their lifestyle and the livelihood that they live after their work years. So they depend on pensions. They depend on Social Security. Yes, pensions, uh, right now, they're being underfunded. So pensions require, they're giving older people money that they said that they would pay them, and they have to honor that. And basically what they have to do, they have to generate um revenue to be able to pay them and so the money that while the people was working and they was taking a portion of the money out of their check and the companies were also adding money to it that money was being invested and the returns on that money on that principle is typically what they would use to help fund these pensions or these payments that they was giving out and now uh the the interest rate in terms of what the government got it set at right now is so low they can't get their traditional uh increases that they was using to pay or seniors and they don't really understand that they in a very precarious situation because most people back in the day pensions was like guaranteed 
Yeah, and for all these years, since what, the 70s up until, now it's 2020. So all this time, pensions have been the guaranteed money and the no questions asked. But remember, we said the economy had problems back yeah. in 2008, <laughs> 2009. Yes. Well, what they did, they had invested all that pension money in mutual funds. Mm, a lot of those banks, you know, needed bailing out. And so what propped the market up was... A lot of those pension funds, whether they was from different uh, city, municipalities, uh, fire stations, different things like that, different government agencies. And um, these particular funds are, uh, are very vital <laughs> to the uh, Wall Street. And so they use those funds to make investments. And a lot of times... To recover the market. To, to be able to, like we say, to be able to give those seniors that money every month on a continuous basis, they have to have those particular returns. Mm -hmm. And so now that the returns are not there, they have to make riskier and riskier bets, basically going into the market, chasing returns. Yeah. And everybody know when you chasing the dollar, uh, it could get really shaky. Right. So take, for instance, GMC. GMC... Um, and a lot of the car companies that were in the mid, uh, you know, Midwest, they went out of business. Well, the reason they went out of business a lot was because they had to pay what? Pensions. Yeah, the pensions were so great and gr lovely for the, uh, you know, the people who retired that the business couldn't sustain itself. It was paying out too much. And so similarly, now in the market, it's becoming the same thing. Yeah, it's, it's very precarious. And uh, a lot of these cities, and they, like we say, they owe the, fire, the police officers. They owe the fire department. They owe all the civil servants that's working in, in that particular city. They promised them pensions, and now they don't have the funds to pay them. They don't really have a whole lot of options. Like we say, either they go into it, they raise taxes to try to help offset some yeah, of that Yeah, but cost. now the people are broke. Right. So you can't raise taxes on brokenness. Right. So uh, some some cities had to file for bankruptcy. It, 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 one comes to mind, and like my wife was saying, was the automotive industry up in Detroit. And also there's a lot of cities in Illinois as well as Kentucky. So there's uh, it, it's affecting a lot of people. Our parents, you know, at the, I guess when you get to the point of uh, the end of your working years, a lot of them seem to just say they want to collect Social Security and that be it. Just, I just want to reach Social Security age and that's the end of that. I just want to sit down somewhere and relax. Well, well, unfortunately, a lot of people uh, that don't have pensions have to survive off Social Security. And I think they say the average uh, check for Social Security is like $1,000. So if if you trying to live off Social Security alone and you don't have a pension, you need to have uh, some of the major expenses paid off, like a home, automobile, because when you get old, what's the number one bill? What's the number one expense they have? Housing. is Along with health care. It eats them up. Yeah. <laughs> so if, yeah, a pension helps offset some of that cost. And so some of the things they recommend that you do in in a time like now where pensions, uh, the crisis is coming and when it hit, it's gonna be massive. Uh, I, I think more impactful than student debt, uh, that's looming, but the pensions directly affects uh, right, so persons' income. Right, so we talked about GMC. They couldn't sustain themselves because they were paying out towards the retirements. When they went to the table to try to renegotiate, the people were so, you know, used to receiving yeah. that money, they they couldn't, you know, conceive that the, that they would file bankruptcy and just wipe out all that debt and then they went off and started somewhere else. But I, I'm just telling <laughs> those people still don't have work up there to this day. Um, so let's just take, for instance, the government has to dump a bunch of um, uh, pensions. Military pensions, federal pensions, <laughs> the states, uh, you got firemen, teachers, um, you know, any government workers, postal. Um, that's a large population of uh, pensions, especially 
African Americans. Yes. Because um, in the 60s, the private sector was not hiring African Americans. And so in order to resolve that issue, the government started hiring African Americans in large numbers yes. to serve those um you know, to fill those service jobs. And so now those people have pensions. So if the government has problems paying their bills, that is the community that's affected. And that's a major problem. And that, that, like my wife say, those jobs were vitally important. Although they might not have been paying what the private sector was paying, they benefits help offset some of that. So them pensions and that health care, all the things that they was offering uh, in, the, in, in the end worked out very well for a lot of African Americans because the pensions were paying for a long time. And they, they still are. But the problem is that they can't hold up under those obligations. Right, because even though they're telling you the market is doing great, the market is doing great, when you go shopping at the stores, um, you know, it's not so lovely in there. It's kind of empty a little bit, you know. Yeah. So we're just kind of giving you a heads up. Start thinking about things that you can do if, uh, you know, that money may not be available to you. So Yes. The uh, major thing you can do, and probably the first step you need to do is definitely assess your liabilities. And liabilities basically are what are your bills? What do you have that you're paying for that comes out of your money? And if it's not essential and not needed, and you're a senior, you don't need a, a giant house that you had when you was raising your kids and stuff. Uh, downsizing might be the best option for you. Yeah, although maybe you might not be able to get that same money you had invested in it. Right. Um, it's better to go downsize and try to get something smaller. Right. Uh, something you can handle and something that you can preferably pay off with the equity you have in your home currently. It and definitely those irresponsible kids and things of that nature who you've been financing for a long time, those kind of folks, you're going to have to cut them off. You're going to have to make sure this is a time of self-preservation. Yeah, it's unless they're contributing to the household in some fashion or form. But um, from what we have experienced with a lot of older people tend to have kids or grandkids that they just allow to post up and siphon and get, continue to give money to the Susie B or whatever, or Johnny or whoever, Tyrone, he needs money every every week. Um, no. Yeah, those things you have to cut off. So, uh, and if you are a, a person who, who's been dependent on uh, the finances of a senior that has had money guaranteed coming in now, uh, it's incumbent upon you now to get out there and try to find some work or do something uh, because their money is, is going to get cut pretty sharply here in the future. Yeah, we're, we're not financial advisors. We're no, just not by TVs. far. <laughs> but these are the things that's out there. And, and for us as African Americans, uh, a pension has been a saving grace for a lot of different families. They've helped prop up uh, generations that come behind the people who had those pensions. Right. Uh, uh, as you can see right now, a lot of the millennials are not working. Uh, people are graduated from college, and there ain't no jobs out there for them. So they so depend on different times for, for you guys back then. You could right. just jump right out of high school and get a, a good paying job, you know, with benefits and pensions and stuff. But uh, now you got to go and pay... Uh, you know, hundred thousand dollars for a bachelor degree to answer telephones and be a receptionist. Right. <laughs> right. So, yeah. And nobody wants to have to get, you've been retired for 15, 20 years, then you got to go out and get a job. That happened a lot in 2008. A lot of the seniors was wiped out. Their retirements was wiped out. They had things stolen from them. And that's, that. Uh, any kind, anytime you got a society that does the seniors like that, it's, it's <laughs> long term, it's not going to work out for you. So mm -hmm. uh, you want to make sure you stay away from that. But Everybody right now just need to assess their situation, especially people who was depending on a pension. And if all you got is Social Security, that's not even guaranteed. So if you are young and you're watching this and, and you're not working, uh, when you everybody, if, if the Lord bless you, you're going to get old one day and you're going to need resources. So you just can't depend on working for a company and thinking the money going to be there. 
the money not guaranteed to them, it's definitely not guaranteed to That's you. That's exactly why if you watch our other videos with the UBI, we're talking and telling you, even though they tell you these things <laughs> are guaranteed, uh they typically tend not to be guaranteed long term, you know. So we just telling you. Right. Always just just be a little cautious. Ain't ain't nothing guaranteed. It's those are great programs. The pension program was excellent when it was working. A lot of people benefited and lived to, to spend all of their pension. Uh, but now it's it's the, uh, the economic situation. The economic environment is scarce. And more than likely, they won't be able to meet those obligations. So just be prepared, make some cuts, uh, start taking, evaluating your current financial situation. Mm -hmm. Go speak to your professional if you need to, to help you organize your stuff. Yeah, because even here in our area, um, you know, the local municipality is talking about red cuts. What's yeah. red cuts, honey? Red cuts mean they cut into the bone. They cut into anything and everything. Listen to the white. Yeah, so <laughs> if you don't know what that means. It means cutting into the meat. Yeah, so they stuff that you wouldn't even think of cutting. And, and a lot of programs, even the most conservative uh, uh, leaders in in these particular uh, offices right now, having to make cuts they don't want to, especially during election year. But hey, man, if the money ain't there, it's it's not there. You can't make it be where it ain't. So and recently, our town restructured a, the pension plan to some some crazy plan. They, you know, hey, hey. right. That's another. <laughs> that's another video. But well, we're just telling you. Yeah, you work your whole life. You thinking it's gonna be there, and it's not there. Only thing guaranteed in this life is the good Lord, and that uh, everybody gonna check out. So uh, if, if you keep that in your mind, you won't be all stressed out about it. Yeah, if you have money, make sure you 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 have uh, somewhere to stay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's paid for that nobody could take. So I'm just letting you know that's first and foremost. Right. Shelter and food. That's it. But y'all, everybody going to be blessed. Just make sure you, you keep the Lord first and he going to guide us and help us get through this mess. But definitely evaluate your situation realistically, not based on anybody else, not based off TV or anything like that. But realistically, what is your specific situation? And we thank you all again so much for tuning in. If you hadn't had an opportunity yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And please leave us a comment. Let us know if you know anybody in a situation like this or you have a family member. And what are some of their options or some of the things they did or some of the things they're doing to prepare. a situation like this we will highly highly appreciate it yeah and if grandma's still supporting tyrone with his legs behind <laughs> please help grandma out and kick him out yes. <laughs> cut, cut the cord with that being said y'all have a blessed one good night good night